Okay, hi, and welcome to Corel Painter 2020. This is really exciting. Well, there's going to be a lot to tell you and a lot to show you, and it's one of the reasons that I held up one of my tutorials because I did do it in 2020 and I couldn't show it yet. So that tutorial will post soon. But what I want to talk to you about here is what everybody, every time there's a new version of Corel, the same question comes up. And the question is, how do I get my favorite brush categories from an old version into the new version? So that's what we're going to be talking about, is how to get your brushes into the new version. The first thing you need to do is open your old version. And you can keep two versions, three versions. You can have multiple versions of Corel Painter on one computer. And as an instructor, I have, you know, two or three usually. So I'm opening up Painter 2019. And I'm going to go over here to my brushes. I was working on some fun stuff over here. So it's a little bit stuck. Okay. Now I'm going to go to, I'm going to open up that little triangle and I'm going to go to, um, let's say my brand new brush category, the MS Cat Paintings. Okay, that's a brand new brush category that I just released. So there's two different ways I can do this. The first way I can do this is right click and I can export the category. And where I'm going to export it to is I made a special folder just for this lesson, if I can find it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be here. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to export it to this folder. Now, I recommend that you keep a folder on your desktop or someplace safe or on a drive that you save every one of your custom brush categories. So I just exported that. Then I'm going to go to the new 2020 and I'm going to go to brushes right there. And I'm going to go to import category. And hopefully it will bring me right up to where I just exported. So I would click on that and click open and watch this corner up here. There it is. And now my brushes are all in here. Now I'm going to do that one more time and then I'll show you the other way to do it. So let me go back to 2019 and let me get one of my categories that are mine, the MS categories. Okay, here's my MS color brushes. So I'm going to highlight that, right click, export, put it in this folder. I keep this folder on my desktop, save, and now it's in there. I'm going to open up 2020, go to brushes, import category, and MS color brushes, and open. And this up here will change to MS color brushes. Now the other way to do this, let me go back to 2019, is to go to the top of the, um, first, you, first you have to highlight your brush category that you want to bring in. So I don't have a lot loaded in here because this is an educational um, workspace. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'll do the, oh, I have the MS Dusty brushes. Okay, that's good. We can do that one. I'm going to highlight the MS Dusty brushes. Right click, sorry, I'm going to MS Dusty Brushes and then I go up here to Brushes and I go Export Category and it lights up, Category is MS Dusty Brushes, go OK and I'm going to put it in that same folder. So the only difference is accessing it from this menu or accessing it from the Brushes menu up here. So let's import those. Go to Brushes, Import, Category, and there's the Dusty Brushes. Let's open that up, and now we're on the Dusty Brushes. I designed these brushes. I'm just open up a new, uh, new document here. 
So I designed these brushes for someone that was painting horses and they wanted to use them at the horse's hooves so that you saw the dirt lighting up. So there were a number of different brushes I put in here. So I've got like five or six. So you see they can create the look of dust. I'll change the color on that for this one because it's going to be more like a dirt look of brush. So let's go in here. All right. See, that could be your dust. So that is available at patreon.com slash msholan. You get the dusty brushes. <clears throat> so, okay, so that is the easy way to do that. Now, I'm going to go now. There is another way to do brushes that are much, much older. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And that one, I'm going to have to open up my folder. And I'm going to go to my, um, my big folder of painter brushes. So I'm going to go find that. Painter brushes. I have a lot in here. Okay, so I'm going to just leave this just like this. And if you have really old, old brushes, what you have to do is highlight the folder. Now, don't open the folder because the folder means nothing. Okay, there, I don't get into uh, technical details. So I'm going to hold down my control key or command, and I'm going to slide down here to a picture of Amazonia, which would be the actual, the actual JPEG that goes with it. And instead of using the copy, I'm going to use this one. So I've got them both now. They're both highlighted. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say send to compress zip folder. And that zip folder will show up right away. Now, take that word zip backspace and change it to say brush category. Okay, a little error message comes up and just say yes. Yes, it's because I have a lot of copies of this. Okay, it's my fourth copy of it. All right, so here I have the Amazonia brush category, and I'm going to double click that. And it should open in 2020. Let's see. Yes, it did. It's opening in, there it is, right there, Amazonia. So I will do a whole um, a whole uh, review and set up your preferences for 2020. It's a cool brush, isn't it? <laughs> Eight to go. This really, they're, these are fun brushes. Artistic monkey. <laughs> oh, cool stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is do you um, video on setting up preferences and my favorite features but i can tell you right now that there is one little feature but i'll highlight this in in my next video my one little feature is you know we've always had a reset tool yes but over here now we have last brush use this is my favorite thing see it went right back to the ape to go but there's a lot of other cool stuff to show you so I can't wait, but I know that you're going to be really anxious about moving your brushes, and I hope this will help you, and you'll be able to um, access this. So so you can find a lot of, we were back here, now we're going to go here over to Patreon, um, this is my site, patreon.com slash msholan, and this is where all my brushes and all my tutorials are now, and everything, uh, a lot of other information that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Uh, I do also have posted here right now a special list of the um, links that are here, so sort of a lot of fun. So it's a small over overview, and if you go continue reading... You'll find a lot of links here, and be sure you read this upper part. Okay, it's only a partial list, and there is a description below each link. 
and I'm going to post this video right now over there and also on YouTube. All right. Thanks so much.